Gotta say, I don't know how many of you caught the promo for this one on Instagram, but it was something else. Guy cannot hit a shot to save his life. Throws out his old garbage mouse pad, which was clearly the issue, when suddenly he spies the dash mouse pad, unsheaths it in all its glory, and proceeds to go on a murderous quick scoping rampage complete with controller props yikes so we're gonna see if this thing is all hype or if there actually is a solid surface in here that's worth this price point you ready let's go Yo, I'm Brian P, you're watching Bad C Tech, and today we're checking out the Dash Mousepad from Fnatic Gear. So the Dash, priced at $39.99 for the large and $54.99 for the XL or desk mat size. Large is 487 by 372 millimeters, and the desk mat, which we have in house today, measures 950 by 500. So bigger than a standard desk mat and not quite as big as the triple XL monsters from like Razer or Glorious. Thickness is three millimeters, and it's got this natural rubber back like we see on most pads. It rolls out pretty flat right out of the tube, just a little wave on the edges, which settled in in just about 30 minutes. No real obnoxious branding here either, just the Fnatic logo in chrome in the lower right corner looks pretty good. It is a stitched edge, but it's really refined, more so than most I see. It's also a really tight stitch, like small, lies flat, really unobtrusive. They really nailed it with this one. The kind of thing that makes you wish all stitched edges were like this. So alternately, the raw edge on the Razer Gigantis v2 at four millimeters is very abrasive to my arm during long sessions it seems like it's going to be really consistent too it's been really rainy here on and off for the past week and i've had the windows open on some of those days not seeing or feeling any performance difference there's very minimal like squish to this pad too it feels pretty firm Something that caught my eye is that it specifically warns against rolling the mat with the surface to the inside. A warning I've only ever seen on the Shitting Kai from Artisan, and this surface actually is a little reminiscent of that pad, which unfortunately I don't have in-house anymore. They say their F15 surface is something they developed, and it offers a solid blend of, you guessed it, great speed and excellent control. Can confirm after consulting the 30 plus deep library of mouse pads I have here that this is not exactly like anything I have. The surface texture looks similar to a couple recent releases from x-ray pad but they're definitely not identical with the equate plus and the aqua control coming closest but still not as fast this thing actually plays wild fast even after doing some adjustment to my sensitivity i'm able to hit flicks but not at the same level of consistency that i normally do to frame this i've mostly been playing on the aqua control plus from x-ray pad and the gigantus v2 from razor we'll look at both of those very soon just be prepared for this to be as fast or faster than anything outside of like a hard surface the shitting kai even the thor is faster but for stuff like flick to track control this beats out the Thor. I can't safely say this pad is faster than most any cloth pad I've used, considerably more so than a QCK or a GSRSE from Zowie, right up there with a hybrid silicone, faster than an MP510 and a lot more forgiving on your arm. It also seems to have the same resistance both horizontally and vertically. The closest I can get to this in my personal collection is the Equate Plus, though you will need to bump your sensitivity a couple digits to match the speed of the dash. The reason I mentioned that pad specifically is because I've been playing a lot more Sniper and Marksman and less Run and Gun, and the Equate Plus is where I personally see a lot of success with that. My sensitivity in Modern Warfare is at a nine or it's right under 40 centimeters if you measure universally. But that doesn't automatically make the Equate Plus the better choice. This opens up a can of worms and in testing all these different pads, it's starting to reframe the way that I look at mouse surfaces in general. But if I can tweak the sensitivity on the Equate Plus, to play similar to the dash, that means other factors come into play when discussing value. One is design. The stitching here is low and unobtrusive and it doesn't bother my arm. The stitching is also really consistent versus some other pads. Aesthetics plays a part too, as does consistency of the surface based on weather conditions, long-term durability, and price point. In my mind, for that large middle section of cloth pads that play more or less the same, these factors can become even more important. The dash delivers on build quality. The aesthetics are purely subjective, but it's a really clean look. Consistency seems legit. Long-term durability, I don't know. Price point, 55 bucks, definitely puts it at the top end of the price spectrum, blowing right past pads from Novel Keys and Dixie Mech, and current international shipping rates still place it well below what you would pay for a pad from X-Ray Pad, 
but it's still north of all the major peripheral manufacturers. Even like a ROG scabbard doesn't go for this much. So I guess for me, long-term durability would really become an important factor here. And unfortunately, that's really difficult to test, especially because I have a mountain of mouse pads here that are waiting on reviews. It is a solid pad. It's well-built. There's definitely more speed than control, in my opinion. And only you know what your financial situation looks like. In terms of straight-up performance, it's basically a better crafted and faster Equate Plus. And at least until we get a stock estate side for x-ray pad represents a better value. Is it going to have you quick scoping your way to the top of every lobby if you're not already? No, it's not. I have way more mouse pad and desk mat reviews on the way, probably a roundup in there somewhere as well. We're also going to talk about novel keys and Dixie mech pads, those ones that are kind of aesthetic, and we'll talk about how they stack up for gaming performance as well. As always, links down below for everything we talked about. Any questions, hit me in the comments or drop by the Discord. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that sub button. And until next time, stay up. <laughs>